We observed two weeks ago that the probability that SOU on stock was going to retrace uh, below its uh, price then, its price then was uh, 5.04, was 11%. Uh, 11 and that turned out to be the case, even though it didn't look like a lot. But I mentioned then that um, it, it held a lot of 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 uh, of of, 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 uh, certains, of um, um, certainties in it. That 11% was uh, still held a lot, even 0.01% still held uh, a lot of uh, 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 certainty in it. You know, so it t it turned out uh, that it continued to trace and uh, reached the lows of 3.53 uh, on Friday. The uh, the twenty, the nineteenth of April, and uh, come yesterday, the twenty second, they began to spike, and uh, so this is the second straight session of gains for SOU and stock gained around uh, ten point ten point three two percent. What we also observed is that um, we have a cycle here, what looks like a cycle. If you take uh, two, let's call this uh, one cycle, one half, one half of a cycle from. Uh, from anywhere you could say from here from this low of uh, 1.63 uh, so of uh, the 6th of uh, February to this uh, peak of um, 7.4 7, sorry so if you take this low of uh, 1.63 from the 6th of February to this low of um, 4.97 you could you take that as one half or one portion of the cycle and then uh, it, this other portion of the cycle uh, is probably hit this 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 low of um, 3.53. Maybe you could say uh, one full cycle has been completed. If you if that makes you happy, um, you could take that. You know you can always um, um, make inferences or make conclusions out of it. So if we find if you find that um, it's if you find that um, it does it continue to exp to spike. And it doesn't. It mustn't really. Uh, uh, it must not really uh, um, uh, print a high that is as high as this one's, but something reasonable. Well, we can conclude that the cycle is uh, complete now. You know, but um, uh, it looks like we have a complete cycle. Maybe you know, but it's still very much early days to conclude that. You know, we just have only two sessions. But if anything, if anything, if uh, if if indeed we have completed the cycle, we have. Uh, a uh, projection of its of a projection of its uh, twin, uh, ten day moving average to get to six point one five, and if it gets to six point one five, the price itself might be high. It's likely to be higher than that six point one five. Let's see now. Let's see. The last time it was at uh, six point one five. We can't exactly say what the price would have been then. Let's we can infer back and see whether we can guess six point one five. Six. This is it's a ten day moving average six point one five. Uh, can we? We can't really say what the price was then. Uh, okay, let's see six point one five. We can actually try and guess. Let's uh, run up this. Uh, let's run up. Uh, it's not changing. The moving average is not changing. Six point one five. Let's see. We want to see whether we can get six point one five. We have six point two one. So you have 6.21, 6.1. So I would say roughly, roughly seven dollars or thereabout. You can see, you can see over here. That's where that set moving average is. This is the 10-day moving average. So uh, look at if you look over here, 7.64 is giving you 5.98. Let's see. Uh, so it roughly approximates to around seven dollars or thereabouts. Uh, so if uh, if we print up to those sort of levels, you know, um, that would be good. That would be good, you know. So supposing this is, uh, we, we are now seeing the beginning of uh, um, a new cycle, you know, who knows where it's, how far it's going to go. But let's just say it's going to go get to $7, you know. Uh, that would be good. But in any case, we can't really see a lot from this. Maybe we have to probably have a look at its uh, four-hour chart. In that, in the last video we did that, we had a look at its uh, four-hour chart. It might give us a picture of uh, what we are talking about here, or what could have possibly happen. So, on the four-hour chart, we have um, um, strength is uh, projected for its uh, ten-period moving average, and uh, we have uh, four point six dollars. We have uh, five point four three. We have 6.09, we have um, 6.79, we have 7.80. So we are we have a winner here. This is almost almost like what we have what we 
what we were we were inferring 7.75 so let's uh, let's uh let's wish upon a let's push let's wish upon a rally let's wish upon a of a spike you know let's wish upon a spike you know if if anything you know um if anything and nobody says um, i mean who says it can't uh, it, it can't um, it, it can it can happen who says it can't um, it can't be what's what might happen you know so but in any case coincidentally we have that we have that forecast seven point six dollars or thereabout we have that uh sort of we have seven point uh, seven dollars uh, seven point yeah let's see we have seven point uh, seven or thereabout yeah and we uh, that's uh, roughly what we have here on uh the daily chart so uh, they, they, they seem to be aligning they seem to be aligning you know but all of these are just uh, um, are, are we guessing here we're not really guessing this this this, this is what actually happened we are inferring back to the price of the stock when its moving average was roughly 6.13 or there about 6.115 or roughly something like that so and it coincides that um, we also have a Fibonacci projection a little bit that it's on the four hour chart that's uh, right around the uh, seven point five dollars or thereabouts. So within within seven point five seven seven point seven two dollars and seven point five eight dollars, that's maybe the sort of levels we might uh, see the stock uh, we might see it uh, spike to. So uh, so we're now we're now we're now uh, speculating and propounding that um, it could a new cycle is beginning to form. You know. Uh, these cycles obviously have uh, four legs. One, two, three, four. This is a much longer leg. Well, indeed, the first leg was equally a long one. So the inner legs uh, tend to uh, it, the inner legs based on just this one cycle are quite small. The inner legs are quite small, you know. So uh, a lot a lot shorter rather. They're a lot shorter, you know. But um, um, if this theory uh, sounds good to you, you know. Um, have a look and uh, digest further, and let's see how it goes. Uh, the the also uh, another observation is that uh, this Fibonacci projection hasn't recalculated as well. The, two weeks ago, it was still around uh, right around here, and we have uh, eight point nine eight as the most uh, upper is the the most that is the uh, closest upper projection eight point nine eight. Above that, we have. Uh, we have a 9.46 above that we have uh let's see we have uh 9.63 and then above that we have uh yeah 9.63 and then the other one is what 9.46 9.46 9.63 and we might up uh, go up um, even further let's let's have a look at its uh monthly charts we, we weekly charts we might see something there uh, weekly chart, yes. We do have any projections? I don't think. I don't think uh, Soundhound has been around long enough to uh, uh, have any of those projections. Okay, so uh, once again, have a look and um, let's uh, hope that this is a new leg. That we, let's hope that um, um, the first of four legs in the cycle is beginning to form with, uh, with this uh, pivot we saw on Friday the 19th of April and uh, I'll definitely continue to update you thank you very much for watching this video